been farming this farm for over 100 years now, I think it was yeah, in 2018. So we've been at it for quite a while and obviously we've expanded the farm over that time. But you've always got to be aware, I think, with farming that there's going to be something new each year that's just going to impact how you, how you do things. So I first heard about Lux and Max in one of our agronomy groups. We, we walk around and we do a bit of a a study at the start of the year of what's coming up. Luxamax was brought up as a new chemical and we had purchased a, a farm a few years beforehand and it had a, a few issues up with rye grass, we were finding it hard to kill. So we thought, oh, you know, we've got this new mode of action, let's give this a shot on, on one of our paddocks. And yeah, and it was did a really good job. Yeah, so we um, so since 2020, we've yeah used it since then. Using a new chemical, I guess there's always a, a small risk to it because you don't know exactly what it's going to do, but I think with the amount of trials that come out and a lot, the hard work that's been done beforehand to make sure that it does work, you've got a bit of faith in that too. But with Lux and Max, we used it on just, I think, 200 hectares the first year. Had good results, we're happy to, to move up, you know, and we used, I think, 500 hectares worth this year. And I understand why people want to keep using proven performers, but I think you've just got to be wary that they are going to run out, just like good old trifluralin is going to run out eventually. So you've got to look at a different option and even if it's just one break, you know, every couple of years, you're going to prolong it just that much further. This year, you know, we made sure everything was sown under 30 mil, didn't have any issues at all. That was into wet dirt. I even tried on some lighter country and yeah, it was fine. It, I didn't notice any damage in that. Even on Enros, you know, where it gets flicked up, there's, there's no damage. I've been really impressed with what Luxamax has done to this paddock. Yeah, we've looked over it, haven't seen any new emergent grasses, so we've just left it. Given it a radish spray and that's it. Try and keep rye grass away for as long as possible. <laughs>